Do you think we are in a recession or are we not in a recession? I think it's unequivocal that we're not in a recession. I don't think this is a legitimate debate. I mean, it's, we are technically, we recorded a technical recession in the second quarter or in the first and second quarter of 2022. It is August. So by definition, we're no longer in the technical recession. So now the question should be, are we in an actual recession? I, to be unequivocally, no. I mean, you look at the, the PMIs, you look at the, the, you know, we just printed a 57 more or less on the ISM services, 53 on ISM manufacturing. Those are way too high for us to be in recession. You're talking about, you know, mid to low 40s if you're talking about recessionary prints. Now, we're, I think we're headed there. The linear indicators, you look at our rate shock analysis, look at base effects, you look at where we are in the broader cycles, um, particularly through the lens of the liquidity cycle. It's very likely we wind up in recession. I just don't think we're quite there yet. I mean, we print it, you know, Powell even said it himself. And, you know, to be fair uh, to, to Powell or to be unfair to Powell, he cited the wrong he cited the right statistic to push back that we are currently in recession, which is we created 2.7 million jobs in the first half of the year, probably going to create another three to 400,000 here in, 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 the, in the job support we're going to get tomorrow for July. So we're probably not in recession. The reality is, however, is that the labor market is a lagging indicator relative to the broader growth cycle. So it's conceivable that you have job growth um, in the early outset of a recession. Um, it just, it's just unlikely that if we continue to stick at these levels or you know, decay gradually from these levels that we are in one.